I'm going to tell you five things that you need to have in your park. And they both revolve around two things, park rating and money. But first, do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can get access to more Roller Coaster Tycoon content for you. Let's go. So these two things, park rating and money, they're symbiotic. They work together. You have to have both in your park um, so your park can be successful. You need money so you can hire staff and keep the park clean and put scenery in, all kinds of stuff to raise the park rating. And then the park rating being high will bring in more guests to spend money. And you got to have both of these categories super strong. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to have a really successful park. Number one, benches and trash bins. You gotta have enough of these in your park. And honestly, I would just spam them as much as you can. It's better to have more than to have less. You can put them at a food court like this so the guests will sit and eat and not litter their food. Um, I would also put uh, benches near right exits so that sick guests can sit down and it'll limit their nausea. Um, but really, you gotta have these everywhere. The more the better. They will help guests limit their tiredness and nausea. Number two, scenery. So this is one of the easiest ways to keep your park rating really high. If you have scenery around and gardens and trees, and if your park just generally looks pretty, um, guests are gonna be happier and the park rating will stay high. I would especially put scenery um, next to rides. If you look at this here, this is increasing the excitement rating on this roller coaster. And it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does give it a little boost and overall makes guests happier. Number three is bathrooms. And oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. You need bathrooms in your park. You need like a ton of bathrooms in your park. Look at all these guests. You can see that all around the park, they are needing to go to the bathroom. So you gotta have a ton of bathrooms. Um, you need to have, for every 128 guests, you need to have one bathroom. Which by the way, thank you to Marcel for that stat. You're welcome, Cody. What? I would recommend putting bathrooms at right exits. So you can see these guests are just getting off this ride. A ton of them are going into the bathroom because they've been waiting for a while and on the ride. So a ride exit is a great place. Um, really, you need to have them everywhere. The more, the better. Okay, number four, uh, shops. So I would recommend putting these at ride exits and really just all over the park, natural junctions in the path. There's all kinds of great places, um, but ride exits are a great place to put these shops so that guests will come right off and buy something. So I'll pull up these stats here. You can see a ton of customers have gone through and I don't wanna lie and make it sound like you're gonna make a million dollars off of these shops. It doesn't give you a ton of money, but the more the better and it adds up slowly. So I'm gonna open up these balloon stalls here so you can see the profit I've generated. I've got a ton of balloon stalls all throughout the park. Let's open up a bunch of these. Look at the profit that each of these has brought in. Again, it's not a ton of money, but they all add up. And so if you have a lot of these going in your park at the same time, you're gonna be generating quite a bit of money. And earlier I mentioned putting these stalls at junctions in the path. Well, this is a great example of that. Coming off this ride, every guest is gonna walk right past the sunglasses stall and they're gonna be forced with making a decision on if they wanna buy something or not. This is a great place to get guests to come in and buy something. It is a way to kind of take advantage of the AI in this game and allow guests to have a better chance of buying something. And let's say you're building a roller coaster and you spend $10,000 and it takes you about an hour. Well, let's say you have about 10 shops around your park generating about $1,000 an hour. Well, you've just paid for the ride right there. Okay, and number five, on-ride photos. Every ride that gives you the option, you should have an on-ride photo for. It's a great way to generate money, and it's easy money. Let's take a look at this roller coaster here. I've got the on-ride photo for, and this ride has been really popular in my park for like 10 years. And let's go and look at the stats. I've had a lot of people buy on-ride photos. And look at my profit. Let's say you have 10 roller coasters in your park with about this same profit. Well, you're going to have about $30,000 of profit just from on-ride photos. And that's it, guys. Those are five things that you need to have in your park. Be sure to leave a comment and tell me which tip has been the most helpful for you. Also, I hope you enjoyed my change of clothes. Thanks again to Marcel for dropping in. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. I always spill water. I swear, guys. I feel like every, probably once a week, I will spill water on myself live on camera. I don't know what's wrong with me, but thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for that uh, redemption energy. You are awesome, man. Um, gosh, I literally like spill water on myself and it's embarrassing, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, where were, where were we?